the first computers that run on lab-grown cloned human brains have shipped out. They hit the market this last year, and people have finally purchased them. This is CL1, or Clone. It's made by an Australian company that wants to use human brains as computation devices, and they do indeed work. Right now, each brain organoid chip has about 800,000 neurons on it, and multiple brain organoids that all work simultaneously. Their goal is to make something with hundreds of millions of neurons, something that could all work together and grow together, not unlike our own brains. What is the purpose of such? I think we'll probably find out, but I would actually really like to see truly conscious robots. I know, not ethical, but it is fascinating. These work by growing human brain cells and turning them into a miniature version of a brain that resembles a fetal brain. They serve a number of purposes, both in robotics and medical development. Electrical signals are sent to them, and they respond, and their responses are recorded and sent back and coded into information. They're trained on dopamine and ordered signals, which they prefer, and are given disordered signals as punishment. This could be considered pain in a way, but really it's just discomfort. The fact that they're capable of learning, growing, and could even do things like play Pong or operate simple robots would mean they're sentient, because they're capable of having an experience. That is hotly debated and is still ethically and morally questionable. Aside from, you know, giving robots a potential for real agency and true experience, they're also valuable in other areas. Drug development remains a complicated area. First, you have to work with things like mice and then move to chimpanzees or humans, and it often fails because a mouse is not a person. But you can use things like CL1 in order to test medications, see how they respond and develop, and get real-time feedback. You could even have your very own brain computer to find out if medications would work for you. It truly is revolutionary. Now, I have had the pleasure of actually speaking to Brett Kagan, one of the lead researchers on the brain organoid computers, and I wanted to ask if they could be used for AI. They have been trained on AI, they've learned unsupervised, and they can learn language. But he does not think that they are capable of responding with the kind of linear information that current AI models actually use. And I do have an idea. I would like to try it. What brain organoids are really good at is spatial reasoning. They're fantastic at operating a robot or something that can move through the environment, and they can operate fleshy robots, which traditional AI models fail at. What if we gave brain organoids a responsibility of decision-making in agency? Agentic AIs have to act of their own will of sorts. What if a brain organoid were allowed to operate that decision doing A or B? I think that could work, and I would really like to try it on the Neuro platform. Right now, it is available for $300 a month. They have undercut other companies, like FinalSpark, that are charging $600 a month to use their home servers. Thousands of brain organoids, all in the same place. You can access them remotely, and they'll learn and grow with the tasks you give them.